in June, Rivian and Volkswagen announced a strategic partnership uh, aimed to right some wrongs that they had done in the past. Volkswagen software famously, famously bad, very expensive and wildly inefficient, while Rivian's was quite good. Well, it looks like that partnership is heating up. It is getting more serious and they are getting ready to take it to the next level. We're going to discuss that with my good buddy Herbert from Brighter. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. Oh, what fun we have, Herbert. For those who don't know, uh, earlier in the week, uh, my account was hacked. So uh, when I recovered it, mere minutes later, uh, I had to uh, restore all my videos, which meant that I published thousands of videos all on one day. People were very confused why uh, in some my hair was red. In many, I said my Tesla weekend. And in a lot of them, I looked so much younger and prettier, <laughs> but it is all sorted out. You guys, it's fine. Are Got you, it. are you suggesting that I was the one that hacked and wait, you no, no, no. Okay. I just, I, the way I you made introduced that made it sound like X. that. And by the way, uh, <laughs> what do you had... mean by your hair was red at some point your hair was red? Oh yeah. In the very early days I had, my facial hair was a Tesla T took about six months for anyone to notice. And my hair was Tesla red. What? Yeah. Okay. Had to. You got to find your character, Herbert. Uh, and it it went over like a lead balloon. It went over like a, like a hydrogen fueling station. So I went ahead and ended that. Uh, but uh, speaking of, of uh, not terrible ideas, but good ideas, I think this is a good idea. This is from mm. back in June. Rivian and Volkswagen Group announced plans for joint venture to create industry-leading vehicle software tech for strategic investment by Volkswagen. Now, you remember the Carryad group that they put together yeah. that Volkswagen made? Uh, yeah. You know, uh, it has been disproved that if you had 10,000 monkeys at 10,000 typewriters <laughs> for 10,000 years, they would create the works of Shakespeare. <laughs> Mathematically, it's been analyzed and they found that heat death of the universe would occur first. <laughs> well, 10,000 software developers couldn't fix Volkswagen's problems. It's like putting all the king's horses and all the king's men on the task of fixing an egg. So Rivian and Volkswagen did enter this joint venture, and it appears to have worked because here we are today. VW and Rivian officially kick it off. The companies will collaborate on electric vehicle architecture software for a new lineup of electric vehicles. Not great. What do you think? Yeah. Also, you, when you said it makes sense, well, who does it make sense for? And I think both parties are desperate. So just like you explained, right? Volkswagen tried Carryad Group and they failed as miserably. They spent billions and billions and that's a total failure. They need to make inroads in software and sort of in, in internal integration, right? It's not just, you know, just people think, oh, it's just an iPad on a, on a, on a car. That's not what this is. And, you know, the, Rivian is great, right? Um, we know that uh, they've done so well in kind of um, the way that they've set up that system. So Volkswagen absolutely needs them. Rivian needs the investment. They need to transfer uh, in their information. The question is, you know, it's like a time suck for them, right? It's like they need to write their ship. They're dying as a company. So they have no choice to do this. And we'll go through later about um, the actual investment that Volkswagen's doing. But I guess you're saying that the partnership looks like it's moving forward because they've hit the next milestone, which is announcing that they got this 5.8 billion, which is originally 5 billion. So they somehow in increased that even. Exactly. So let's look at this. Uh, now you'd shared something with me uh, before, but tell me about what's going on with the actual investment. How yeah. does it work? Yeah. So I, I just uh, saw, and I, I subscribed to a newsletter, Wedbush Securities, which is Dan Ives. And they just sent this out this morning, right? So Rivian joint venture announcement with Volkswagen, a big step in the right direction for RJ and the team. So if you take a look at this, right, it's like while Volkswagen Group plans to invest up to $5.8 billion in Rivian and the joint venture by 2027, an initial investment of 1 billion convertible note has already been made, right? Uh, the, and they're going to invest 1.3 billion as consideration for the background IP licenses and a 50% equity stake in the joint venture. The remaining 3.5 billion will come in the form of equity, convertible notes, and debt at future dates. So these aren't cash, which is what uh, Rivian needs, with further investments tied to operational, technical, and financial milestones. So it's a big number, 5.8 billion. 
the end of the day. It's like, I'm going to give you a billion now. The rest kind of like in this debt kind of stuff and equity. And then we'll see <laughs> if you progress in milestones and technology. And then that's what's going to happen. That's very interesting. Do you think that there is a conflict of interest? Rivian is an off-road adventure type vehicle company. And Volkswagen just unveiled their new Scout EV yeah. brand. Do, yeah. you, do you think that's a conflict or is the market big enough to support them both? I think the market is absolutely big enough to support them both. I think like we said at the beginning here, they're both desperate. There's no... There's no, you know, they need to partner with each other. Scout just launched and they're trying to copy Rivian. If you saw the car, it looks exactly the same, don't they? Uh, they just changed the headlights. So, uh, yeah, this is the R1S and the Scout. And so Rivian is, uh, Scout is copying Rivian, which makes sense because uh, Rivian copied Volkswagen, if you, <laughs> if you don't know. That's okay. <laughs> so, every car company copies that's okay. every car company. That's fine. It, I don't see it as copying. I see it as there's a limited number of form factors. Yeah. Of course, there's going to be similarities over time. I just thought it was funny that these two look so similar. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we love to joke around. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> overall, good news, bad news, no news. Uh, it's good news. I mean, obviously, like I just keep saying, both parties need this. It's great news. for Volkswagen needed to do this, right? When you're a legacy automaker, you need to partner. Uh, you just don't have it in-house. And in, you know how the typical path, right? I think we've discussed this before. If your legacy kind of uh, being disrupted by new technology, what would you do? First thing you'll do is you'll try to do it yourself. So they did. They spent billions of dollars hiring all these people. Next thing you do is you start partnering with uh, yourself, by the way. You, you partner with other uh, legacy automakers. You create an association. You can, let's all invest in this R&D thing. Then after that fails, <laughs> what do you do now? You start partnering with other car companies. And typically you'll choose a low cost provider. So, you know, China, which is what we saw with Volkswagen and almost every single um, American and European brands in China have partnered with Chinese automakers. And the weird thing is even then they're still failing. That's the odd thing that people, their brand has suffered so badly that if they did this, they need to remove their nameplate and pitch it as a brand new electric vehicle, tech forward, Chinese brand. And then what happens is when that fails, then they go and search for partners. They're, you know, tuck their tail down in between their whatever, and they have to go and find partners. Now, why did they pick Rivian? Why didn't they pick Tesla? Um, here's a car company that's dying or, you know, has done a good job, but they may not even survive. You know, maybe they're just saying, let's go ahead and create this partnership now. And when Rivian dies, we'll pick it up for cheap. But let's uh, let's start this relationship now. And that could be. I think Rivian is much more desperate to make an attractive offer where Tesla might, uh, obviously coming from a position of power, might demand a better, more, more one-sided deal where Rivian would be mm. the one getting the shorter end of the stick in this. Uh, potential situation. They're not putting up cash. They're putting up stock, which mm -hmm. is not not the same thing unless they plan on selling the stock immediately. So I'm not sure how all that part works. But I think it's a, I think it's also a good thing. I think it's something that had to happen uh, because sometimes small companies do amazing things. When Ford first showed their electric uh, Ford F-150, it wasn't called the Lightning yet. They made this video where they showed it towing a, uh, a locomotive. That's not as impressive as it looks. There's no rolling resistance on trains practically. I mean, we've seen humans pull trains, yeah. but still, it's a great demo. And they were all set to release their, they, they were going to, they had a product announcement already on the calendar when Rivian did their product announcement for the R1T. And Ford saw it and said, wait, 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 300 miles. How are they getting 300 miles? Ford pumped the brakes, went and talked to Rivian, invested money. They said, look, if your truck really gets 300, let's test it. And if it does, we'll give you a bunch of money to get some of your tech. And that's what they did. So Rivian can be small, scrappy, and do things better than the big dogs, yeah. obviously. Yeah. I think this is a good example. And I think this is going to work out well for everybody. What do you guys think in the comments below? Let us know. Because I'm very curious. That's a big thing about me is my curiosity. And my other question is, are you subscribed? And if so, why not? Aren't you? If you're not, don't. Come on, help me out. Head on over to Herbert's channel. See what he's up to. Everybody else, like, subscribe, do what you do. 
Stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you clever robots after I reboot to fix my Wi-Fi issue.